My home office is better than yours and I'm gonna show you why. If you search for home office on YouTube, there are like a bajillion amount of videos talking about their home office or their work from home space. And for some people, it's their dream setup and they look amazing. So I figured why not take the time and go through my own home office. But I'm gonna take you back to school for like 10 seconds. This sentence right here is called a subjective sentence, which is a statement that relies on personal feelings or beliefs. It's also why I titled this video the way that I did. So because of that, I can say that my office is better than yours because it works for me. Everything that I've done so far has taken at least two years to do all while trying to feed my other hobbies and normal life things. So, as I go through my home office, I hope that you find something that inspires you. Like my microphone. This is my home office, which is also kind of like a hybrid space, but you're gonna see why in a second. I will say that this is a work in progress, so you'll see things as I go through this that are, I'm clearly working on or stuff I need to get rid of, all that kind of stuff. Also, just in case I forget to say it at any other time in this video, almost everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description below if you're interested in checking those things out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this room up into six different sections, and I'm gonna start with the closet. It's really at the closet. I know you're probably thinking like, why start at the closet, but it literally is just the first thing if you look to the left as you walk through this door right here. It's the first thing to the left. So let's see what's in the closet. By the way, this is an example of something being a work in progress. I need to get rid of this or put it somewhere else. It's just a printer that I no longer use. So in this closet, I, I don't know why we're like this, but like we keep all the gearboxes. I mean, mainly for like if you're trying to sell it or something like that and you wanna just keep the box to keep it fresh. I don't know if you need to return something. And then I have a bunch of shoe boxes. We got suitcases for our travels. And then we got just random bags and puzzles and stuff like that. That's really the, all that lives in this closet. Could I utilize it more and make it more functional, make it more, I guess, resourceful? Yes, probably, but this is just the way it is right now. And outside of my closet right here, that's where I keep my one wheel. I keep it charged there. So anytime I take it out, I just, Take it on out and then I come back in, plug it up if I need to charge it. Right next to it is a bunch of shoe cases that I am trying to get rid of. <laughs> Woo! There are six windows in this room and I got all of these blackout curtains from Home Depot. Uh, you get one depending on the size of your window. You can get some that go in the window frame or outside of the window frame. Um, and they are just a pull down, pull up kind of thing. Nothing fancy. Uh, it just helps with filming and being able to control the light in this room. Oh, by the way, the light that I'm using for all this is the Amaran 100D. And then I have the light dome SE attached to that. Next is this wall. It's, it's a very, I have, it's an empty wall. I would have put pictures right here, but this is where I keep my backdrops. I have one, two and an empty place for one. I want to get like a green screen or something like that. But really I just use this for any, anything I need to shoot with a backdrop on it. Pictures, videos, whatever. If you've never seen something like this, it really is simple. You've got a chain right here and you just pull the chain <laughs> to make it go down. That backdrop right there, linked in the description below. Also for this spot, I usually have a table that I keep here. And if you follow me on like Instagram or TikTok, then this table probably is familiar because I use this table for a lot of top down shots in my videos. Oh gosh. I hope that was worth it. <laughs> this right here is my desk. This is where I have to clean up the most because it's the messiest to be honest, but it's also where the magic happens. Let's start with this bad boy right here, the chair which is an Ergo One chair. To me, it's like an off-brand Ergo chair because it's called like the Ergo and I can't remember how much it was, but I did make a video about it. To me, it serves its purpose. I mean, it has the head adjustment, uh, the seat adjustment, all that kind of stuff. You can go watch the video if you really want all the details. Then we got the Fully Desk. I got this like two years ago. Also made a video on that, but it's a height adjustable desk. Now I will say Abigail got a desk. Uh, I think it's an uplift desk and it costs like one third the price of this. Granted, I got some accessories, but still, I don't know if I paid for like the motor, but her desk is just as good. I don't understand. We got the Elgato Mic 3. We got the Sony ZV-1F as my like webcam, but I also use that as like a quick camera on the go. Sitting on a Joby Gorillapod. Then we got my MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Max, all that thing, all the stuff. I don't really need the M2 right now because I, I'm fine with what I have. We have the Apple Pro display, which was provided by work actually from work from home, which is crazy. I also have this LG monitor, which is sitting right here. I don't know the exact model because they just gave it to me. I, I, I don't know. Regular keyboard in the back right here, I have the Govi smart floor lamp. It has all kind of different colors and stuff like that, but it just adds a good vibe to the room, at least in my opinion. As far as my mouse goes, I have the Logitech MX Master 3. I also have the Logitech MX Master two just in case I needed that. And then last but not least in the desk area, I have a trash can because you gotta throw away the trash. This entire back wall of the office is where I have most of my things. We got two shelves, we got a tool chest for storage, we have my charging, we have my charging wall is what I was trying to say. And really this is where it kind of starts to turn into like a hybrid space of home office and 
everything else. So these shelves are by Kepsil, also a video on that. Um, but at the very top, I have the world's hardest puzzle and I refuse to disassemble that for the moment. I have these Nike Air Max 90s because, uh, I mean, they just go with the color scheme. They're not necessarily my favorite, but I do love those shoes. Next shelf, we have some Funko Pops. I mean, I plan on opening them and getting them out the box. I just haven't done that yet. Uh, and I plan on getting more, but I don't want to get too much or too many. Uh, and then next we have the gimbal. I don't use the gimbal that much. It's, it's just a Ronin SC2. Uh, and next to that is the Beta FPV uh, drone starter kit. So if you want to like kind of get into FPV drones, um, that's where you can go. Uh, this right here is a relic these days. <laughs> Not really, but it's it's a MacBook. My MacBook from uh, back in the day, it's a 2010 MacBook. I'm like not even a MacBook Air, it's crazy. Bottom shelf, we just have boring stuff, which is the Wi-Fi. I'm sure I can clean that up to make that a little bit better. Oh, and you wanna talk about monitors? I, I have another monitor, which this is an Asus ProArt display. Um, this one's actually mine, like I actually bought that, but they gave me, like I said, the Apple Pro display, so I mean, why not? This is my charging slash storage wall. We got some cables, we got a Gorillapod, we got a Bluetooth speaker, we got some Bluetooth headphones, we got the, the DJI controller, we have the joystick for the DJI, I'm just gonna take this off. All right, hands free, hopefully it's not too loud. Here we have a snake plant, I don't have a name for it, but there's a snake plant. And <laughs> We have the DJI Avada, which I'm still learning how to do FPV drones. It's, it's way different than your traditional consumer drone. The goggles for it, the batteries for it, camera battery, we have a uh, outlet power strip. And here's how I have the power strip set up. I have the power strip plugged into a smart plug. Every night at 3 a.m. the smart plug turns on, turns the power strip on, charges everything that's plugged into it, and then at 6 a.m. the smart plug turns off and turns everything off. And then that way, every morning, everything should be charged. But I really do like this wall setup just mainly because it's modular and I'm, I've changed it since making that video, but it's relatively the same. I'll probably change it again in the future, but it usually changes as I get more things. Which brings me to my Husky tool chest. On top of it, we have yet another MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Max, all the things. This is my work computer. The only thing I wish I had for the Husky tool chest is the inserts to keep everything in place so that as I pull the drawers out that things don't move as much as they do. Cause sometimes they move around and they get messy and I'm in a rush and all that kind of stuff. But usually I'll go through and like reorganize, clean things and stuff like that. But the general idea of how I have my Husky drawer organized is the top drawer. I have like cables and miscellaneous things. Like I have my gaff tape, which you can never go wrong with. I have some stickers, stuff like that. Things that I don't necessarily need all the time. And then on the left side is mainly where all my camera stuff lives. On the left side, we have clamps. We have uh, tripods for like the Insta360, extra lights, microphones, camera strap, things that I don't necessarily use all the time. And then the one beneath that, we have filters, lights, maybe small tripods, usually where my other Joby Gorilla Pod that's on my desk lives. Um, just small things that I, I might use more often. The one below that is where actually most of my camera things live. I have my Sony a7 III, my Sony ZV-1F would live in here. We got the Insta360 in here. We got the lens in here, SD cards. Stuff for the FPV drone lives in here. So it's just a really nice place where like, I know where all the camera things are. And if I haven't bored you to death already, the other stuff is more like admin stuff, you know, tax papers and whatnot. So on this next shelf, I have my college degree, which I mean, people debate if you should even go to college these days, but you know, I'll let y'all discuss that in the comments below. We have the Broncos gear. I'm a Broncos fan, have been my whole life. And unfortunately this year is, it is what it is, whatever, moving on. I am a, one of those people that runs a lot. I enjoy running. I started doing it during the pandemic just to get outside. And since then I've run three marathons, ultra marathon, to half marathons and I'm currently training for another marathon. And then on the bottom, I have books, lots of books. Most of the books are like fantasy, dystopian, whatever, because to me, it's like an escape from the world if you just need to get somewhere else. The opposite corner over here, I just have the rock band drum set. If you remember that game, you know, in the rock band and the guitar hero days, I still have mine, still works. Got it on the PS5, everything works just fine. Um, and then I have the other Gobi uh, floor lamp over here. Nothing special about this corner, but I do have ideas that I want to get like another table or another desk of some sort and maybe get like a 3D printer or something. We'll see. And this is the instrument wall. If you had to guess how many instruments I play on this wall, take a guess. I'll give you like two seconds. I don't play any of them, but the, the bass guitar in the middle is mine. And a couple of my friends are getting on me because I've had it for like three years and I still don't know how to play because I need to learn how to play. The only instrument I know how to play is the drums and I'm just gonna stick to that for now. These are all Abigail's, but I just like how we have it set up on the wall. It's nice and organized. 
and it's aesthetically pleasing. But one day, one day, I'm gonna learn to play the bass. It's coming. And last and definitely not least, we have, I just, I'm just gonna call it the entertainment center. <laughs> I don't know. Um, these are more capsule shelves in a different orientation. Right here in the middle, we have the LG OLED C1 TV. I think it's C1 OLED. I don't know, it's whatever kind of order that is. But it's OLED TV, I love it. For, for some reason on the tops of both of these, we have a bunch of pint glasses. We like to collect pint glasses when we travel. I'm gonna get rid of these because this is just taking up space. It's just meaning, I don't wanna say meaningless, but it's just, we don't need all this stuff. But over here, I have a Lego setup of the Horizon Forbidden West or Zero Dawn, whichever one you like the best. I, I enjoy that game a lot, I really love it. And so I, I wanted to get it and put it together. Right next to that, we got another snake plant, smaller than the other one. Still don't have a name for it. Moving on. We got the rock band guitars in the corner here. And then that brings us down to the shoes. I like to collect shoes, as I said before. We have six shoes on this side, six shoes on that side. Collection still grows. They cost a lot of money, so that's what it is. And then in between the shoes, at the bottom, we like to play board games. We have a friend that has probably over three, 400 board games, and he's obviously influenced us. But we enjoy it, we really do. And above the TV, we have the display video, which is probably one of the most viewed videos on my channel. Most people in the video, they always talk about how they always fall, but I've had these up for, I don't even know how long at this point, over a year, definitely. Um, I definitely wanna add some more. I wanna add it to the wall behind the backdrop, maybe. Uh, just to give you a plain uh, description, these uh, were, were what they call my holy grail shoes. For me specifically, I really like those shoes. They're Air Max 90s, Sir Tiggs, and then I have Kill Bill in the middle, because I just love those movies. Um, Quentin Tarantino, I mean, who doesn't like him? I mean, well, people don't, but I really like his style, um, and I really love those movies. And then Tokyo, Japan, that is my bucket list, one of my bucket list places to go. I know it's on a lot of people's, but um, I just wanna, I like the, the culture, the architecture, everything about it, and I wanna really uh, experience it one day. I don't know when. Oh, and I almost forgot, we got the PS5 above the shoes over here. Hit me with your PlayStation name. Uh, <laughs> I will try to be on as much as I can. That's all I can say, because I have a group of friends, and they, uh, they haven't seen me on in a while, is what I'm trying to say. These couches are from Ikea, the dog's not included, uh, but I love these, they're, they're great for lounging, but I wanna get like a full on like regular couch, cause I don't always wanna lay down, cause when you lay down, you're more likely to just not be motivated to get up and do anything else. So there you have it, there's my office, there's why I think it's better than yours, because like I said, it works for me. Are there things that I wanna do to make it better? Of course. Are there things that you might have that I don't necessarily need? Of course. But either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you and the fam are doing well. Don't forget to thumbs up bell. Bye. Yeah. Sunday morning views quickly turns to afternoons. It's like that I can barely go and catch it. Kinda how I feel with you. Cause you're